Well, okay, here's the first video. Some people have been asking how I do this. I'm not sure of the name of these blanks, but I get them from cedarrunoutdoors.com. Uh, Andy's a great guy to deal with. So if you ever want to buy some fish lure blanks to paint yourself, just pop on his site. And uh, he's got a pretty good selection. First thing we're going to do is we don't want to get any paint on the bill. So we're going to mask that off with just regular painter's tape. Take your time here and get some good straight tape lines. It'll save you a lot of time down the road trying to clean that paint back off that bill. This is the worst part of the whole process is trying to tape these up, getting nice clean lines between the face of the bait and the bill. You get one bait figured out and then you change blanks and it's a whole different process to get nice straight lines on the next one. Once you get that area up there taken care of, the rest of it's pretty easy. Just cover it up. Alright, once we get that taped up the way we want it, go ahead and pop that in the vise. And for this color here, or most of the colors you're going to do, you're going to use a white base coat. Uh, for this one here, I'm using Golden's Titanium White. Shake it up good. Add it into your paint cup. Uh, sorry if my brush is a little dirty. Uh, what I'm using here is a Badger Crescendo 175. Uh, it's a pretty decent brush. I'm sure there's some better ones out there. This is what I got, so this is what we're going to use. Just add a little bit of paint to the cup. The trick is nice, even, light coats. heat set in between coats. Uh, for that we just use a regular hair dryer. Sorry if it's a little noisy. A couple spots down here we missed. This is the first video I've made, so hopefully everything stays in the picture for y'all. All right, looks like we got it nice and white. Heat set that again. change colors. I'm just got to clean my brush out.
All right. For our next color for this one, it's going to be Tester's Aztec. Oh, this is a pearl copper color. Got to make sure we shake that up really well. Before we load that in and we're done, we're going to add a little bit of scale texture. Uh, all said and done, it's just going to be across the bottom here. But we take this material here, you've probably seen this in the shower before your wife or your girlfriend or whoever probably has one. Uh, it's just one of those plastic scrub loofah things. Cut it apart. Perfect scale pattern. So we're gonna take our bait. I'm gonna try to do this all in camera. Normally I lay the bait in my lap. It makes it a little easier to wrap it. We're gonna try to do this up here where you can see it. And I do apologize if it's outside of frame. Careful, you don't let your clips scratch the bait. And you want to get this mesh pretty tight so the paint doesn't bleed underneath it. the bait right there we're gonna have to touch it up that's all right all right we got a mesh on there and now we just take a brush and put a little bit of this pearl copper Start on the back. A little heavier on the spine. It may end up heavier, but we're going to start with just light coats. Try to make sure we got it even on both sides. A little light right here. This is not the blank I normally paint this color on. We figured, what the heck, we'll give it a shot. See what we come up with. Now we can go ahead and take our mesh off. You can see it gives us that scale pattern. And when we're done, most of that's going to be covered up. You can see where I scratched the white. It's alright. That's down on the belly. The belly's going to be white anyways. We'll come back and touch that up when we're done. 
All right, so now I'm gonna clean the copper out of my brush. Most of that's gonna get dumped right back in the jar. spine up. Fish don't normally have scales on the spine. Just bear with me, this is my first video. Right. We want to darken that spine up. Darken around the eyes too, just a little bit. Make sure you get the front lip. 